Hey, this is Doug Side of Rose for Game Shampoo, and I'm here to go over how to fight the Reaper or the hidden boss inside the Soul Cairn. Now, to do this, obviously, you need to be in the Soul Cairn, and given it doesn't actually have a map for the entirety of the video, oh, pretty much the start of everything is going to be a the castle inside the soul cairn where you find Selena's mother. There's going to be one other point of reference, but and I'll, I'll get there when we get there. We already passed it. It's uh, that dividing wall. But first things first. To fight the Reaper, you need to collect three Reaper gem fragments. Now, from in front of Valencia's castle, turn to the east and head along this wall. Before too long, you'll pass a building, and then just past there is another building. This one has a large gem hovering over it. You want to head to this building with the large gem. If you've got uh, Havoc, I recommend summoning them. Regardless, dismount or head inside, take the stairs on up. You might have to fight a wrath man, big whoop. They go down pretty easy if you're high enough level. Uh, let's go if I'm in the 80s, they're in the 10s. But yeah. So, on top, go over to the chest underneath the gem. The gem will be siphoning your life, nothing terrible. Just, you know, don't hang out forever. Right. Open the chest underneath the gem, collect what you want of everything, but you need to take the Reaper Gem Fragment. This, that was the first of three. After that, head back to the front of the castle. From the front of the castle, well, you're going to want to head off to the south to find the second Gem Fragment. And you want to head toward the Glowing Tower. Now, before too long, you can see a large building and with another gem above it. Move along the right-hand side of this building until you find the first left-hand door. Get ready, head on inside, and uh, go a little to the left so you can pass through this archway and into this open doorway. Deal with what you need, but to reach where you need to go, you see that little well? Jump into it. That'll take you instantly to the rooftop. Now head over to the chest underneath the gem once again and collect the second Reaper Gem Fragment. Once again, we will return to the front of the castle. Alright, time for number three. This time you're going to want to head to the west. Alright, uh, pretty much just start by heading straight west. This one is going to take the longest. Once you reach this building with the first gem just floating over it, that's not quite where you want to go. Just head straight over it, but that's going to lead you to where you want to go. Go through this building, no, this, that archway, this archway, keep going forward. Now this building with the gem over it, that's where you want to go. So dismount, go through this door, uh, over uh, on uh, the southern face. Just head around into the courtyard, going northward, turn to the west. You can see two lit spheres. Using a crossbow or an arrow, you're going to want to shoot an arrow into each of those spheres. They'll go from bright to dim. Now, once they're dimmed, you've done everything right. Doesn't matter the order. I just did farther one, closer one. Be closer one, farther one. Regardless, once they're both hit, the gate lowers. Head forward through the now open archway to the area underneath the gem. Open the chest. Collect the Reaper Gem Fragment. 